Hi yogis, my name is Sophia and here with So Yoga. Today's focus will be on our wrist. We will give them a little bit of self-love and care. And regardless if you are new to yoga or if you're experienced yogi, this is a perfect video for you as a daily routine for the wrist, for tension relief or just as a 10 minute warm up for your practice. Stay with me and roll your mat. So we are starting our session today with the palms together. We will clasp them in front of the chest and we will start rotating them clockwise and anti-clockwise just to allow them to set in, to prepare them mindfully for the practice and then switch. Actually, it's a little bit a brain exercise to change the rotation of the wrist. Let's stay here for 10 additional breaths. Good. Three more breaths. Two. And one. Amazing. So from here, we'll extend the right palm forward, facing forward, and we'll grab the pinky finger. Stretch your right arm. Inhale here. Exhale completely. Let's go for the ring finger. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go to the middle finger. Inhale in. Yeah, there is small noise from the cars passing nearby me. Exhale out. Even though I really enjoy this beautiful weather in south of France today. Inhale. Exhale. But I think it's difficult to escape of the urban environment. Inhale in. Exhale out. Good. Let's extend the left palm and grab the pinky finger. Stretch your left arm up. Inhale in. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, the face relaxed. Exhale. Breathing in. Grab the next finger. Exhale out. Grab the middle finger. Inhale in. Exhale out. Grab the index finger. Inhale in. Exhale. Let's go to the thumb. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Amazing. Shake those arms up and down. Just get rid of these small sensations that we have created around the fingers. Good. Four, three, two, one. And I want you to bring your fingers just alongside the thumb and, I don't know, move the water. How, how you call this? This movement. Leave a comment down below how you call that. I don't know. Just lay here. Four, three, four, two. Amazing. And one. Release. So we're going down on tabletop where the hips are over the knees. The knees are hip distance apart as well. The shoulders are over your wrist. Engage the belly just enough to keep your back straight. And from here, we'll start moving clockwise and anti-clockwise. It is a perfect way to warm up the wrist, easy and gentle. You have most probably seen it in lots of yoga classes and maybe change the rotation now. It's part of the cat-cow movement, but we keep the spine neutral. Of course, if you wish to go for cat-cow and some freestyle movements here, you're free to go. Let's lean forward and back for three. For two and one lean forward so that the shoulders are over the wrist make sure that your base of the palm is flat down and hold here for three two one lean back and we'll repeat that two more rounds coming forward shoulders beyond the wrist 
stay there for three, two, one, coming back. And one more round, coming forward for three, two, one. All right, from here, coming back to neutral. And we will turn our palms out. So the fingers are out and walk your base of the palm closer together. From here, we'll start rotating again. It gives you a little bit different sensation in the wrist. And from here, the movements are getting a little bit more intense. So at any point, and change the rotation, at any point, you can adapt the intensity. All right, leaning forward and back for five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, let's bring the palms facing forward again. And this is one of those moments where you can increase or decrease the intensity. So the option one will be to turn your left palm back. So the fingers are facing the back of your mat. The right fingers are facing the front of the mat. And from here, we'll lean back and forward for five rounds. If at this point you wish to increase the intensity, you turn the right palm as well. And we'll lean back and forward. So if you're choosing option two, let's go for five rounds when we lean back, lift the base of the palm, lean forward and over. And if you're choosing option one, we'll just lean back and then we'll switch hands. All right, let's go for five. Leaning forward, four. Leaning forward, three. And this stretch is quite intense, so really be gentle for two. Avoid overdoing. And one, coming back to center turning the left palm forward, right fingers towards the back of your mat and lean back. All right, if you have chosen the second option, in this case, keep the base of the palm down when we lean back and forward. Inhale. Forward. Four. Four. Three. two and one good from here slowly release your hands down and sit back on your mat in vajrasana sitting on your heels with your left hand grab your right wrist and we'll give the wrist few rotations just as a relief for the previous exercises we have put some body weights already on our wrists so it can feel intense. It just feels good to rotate the wrist sometimes. And switch, grabbing the left wrist with your right hand, making a fist and just doing a few circles clockwise and anti-clockwise. All right, perfect. So from here, we will come again on tabletop and we'll turn the left palm facing the back of the mat. So the top of your palm will come down on the mat. One more intense stretch. All right, from here, inhale. Exhale, lean back. It can be just a few inches. It is okay, coming back to center. Lean back, good. Coming back to center. Four more. Three, four, two, and one, hold, five, four, three, two, one, flipping your left palm, fingers facing the front and flipping the right palm, the top of your right palm goes down, stretch your arms and lean back and forward, leaning back, and four, four more, leaning back, and four, four, 
three, for two, and one. Good. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Lean back in Vajrasana one more time. And bring your hands into Namaste. From here, we'll bring the left palm down on the mat. Fingers facing towards your right side. Hold it here. Coming back to tabletop. For five, four, three, two, one. Good. Lean back and switch. Right palm. The top of the right palm is down on the mat. Fingers are over to the left side. Stretch your arms. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hold. And then slowly release. Keep the connection with your both palms. Finding your Vajrasana and Namaste in front of the heart. Inhale, lift your elbows at the level of your wrist. Keep your eyes closed. Drop your chin towards your chest. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, side it out. <sighs> Hold the pose for a few breaths. Setting your intention for the day, for the rest of your yoga practice. Reminding yourself to be mindful and gentle with every move. Reconnecting with the breath. Reconnecting with your body. Noticing the warmth of your exhale. On the top of your lips, noticing the sensations in your arms. Try to press your palms a little bit harder, activating through the upper arms. We're staying here for 15 more breaths. Maybe you're listening to the sound of the wind. And if you're outside, maybe notice the environment. Notice the sun, notice the wind, the cold or the hot. If you're inside, notice the noises surrounding you. Coming from outside of your space or the inside. Maybe even noticing the notice of your breath. Final three breaths here. And one. Slowly release the palms on your knees. And with a few blinks, gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for watching this video and staying with me. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button down below, like this video, and I really hope to see you next time on the mat. See you soon and Namaste.